Yeah, I'd like more, honestly. Uh, I might be mistaken. I can't look back and remember a hit off of a slider. Uh, just off the top of my head, I think everything was off fastballs. Uh, I think like, the time he hit McCutcheon, a slider would have been great again. And uh, when he walked uh, the last batter he faced right there, sliders, he commands very well. So I, I, I love the fact that he's throwing more. Uh, I think there's plenty of evidence to continue throwing that pitch and almost pitch off of it at times. And uh, did a great job tonight. I think overall, like, uh, he was around the zone pretty much most of the day. Uh, it wasn't pinpoint command, but we don't really look at him as that type of pitcher at this point in time. Anyway, it's stuff over location, and it's trusting that that stuff's electric enough that if you mix it effectively, like it's going to get batters out. And it did that. And so uh, I thought he did a really good job. What did you think of the job Perella did in 3L tonight? Two triples, uh, no complaints there. Uh, he hits, he's been hitting balls hard ever since he's been here. It's it's not soft off his bat at all. He's hitting balls hard and takes an aggressive pass and uh, puts good at bats together. And I think uh, you look up and every day he's right in the middle of something special for us. So uh, he, he's been a, a huge part of kind of what we've been able to do over the last month and change. And uh, been a real pleasant surprise this year and just continues to play really, really well. Wherever you stick him on the field, he gets the job done. And then it's really about his bat. Like you just mentioned, the ability to kind of put him all over the field, all over the lineup. How, how useful is that to you as a manager? It's great. I think we get that back when uh, Solarte comes back tomorrow, too, that we have another guy on the team that's capable of doing some similar things, bouncing around the infield more than the outfield and first base and second base. But uh, that versatility, you give a guy like Will a day off and you're wondering where you're going to get your three-hole bat and you just slide him into first base and put him right in the three-hole and he comes out and uh, drives in a run immediately and hits another triple. And he was uh, really good. What did you like about uh, using the Yates in the ninth or the uh, honestly, the way the game played out kind of dictated this uh, decision making. Uh, we got in such a dicey situation in the seventh inning. Phil was the only guy out of those two that was really going to be good at going one plus today with Yates having thrown yesterday. So uh, at that point in time, that out in the seventh inning becomes more important than worrying about who's throwing in the ninth. If it had been a toss up, I honestly might have gone the other way just as easily, not because don't have confidence in Kirby, but I got just as much in Phil. So uh, that could have gone the other way. I think if uh, Phil had thrown yesterday and Kirby had had a day off, then Kirby would have picked the out up in the seventh and gotten the eighth, and then we would have watched Phil close. So it was more circumstantial than anything else. Why do you think Kirby's missing so many more bats this year than he had been in the past? Uh, you know, he's not someone I have a ton of history with. Uh, yeah, I've, I've watched video and always, uh, when we acquired him, felt really good about his fastball, felt really good about his split, uh, and loved the way he's chosen to use his slider more often than not now. It's to get back in counts. It's earlier in counts. And uh, that fastball up in the zone late, I think they're still searching for their first extra base hit off of it on, on the year. You know, it's... Uh, it's really special. I mean, he's not getting hit uh, at the top of the zone with the fastball. So it's got spin. It's got life. It jumps. Uh, he's, uh, he's throwing the ball really well for us. He's been another great pickup, very much like Brad Hand was last year. Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he definitely lost uh, command pretty quickly in that inning. Uh, Probably should have grabbed him after he hit McCutcheon, but you kind of want to see how a young guy rebounds and kind of looking at our schedule. If nothing changes with the roster construction, his next start's next Saturday. So you're looking at two extra days off. So let's go, go over 100 pitches, show what you got. And I think we talked about last time he pitched, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to look at stretching him when the situation's right. I felt that was the right chance to give him a shot, go deeper into the seventh and run up over 100 pitches. Uh, whether he got himself a little too amped up for it or not, really didn't talk to him about it. But I mean, he just lost that pitch inside the McCutcheon. I felt like that was a slider count anyway. Uh, but I, I think over the whole body of work you look at today, uh, after that first inning in particular, really settled in for the next five, threw the ball really well.